Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are homeschooling a family of four. We are in our sixth, sixth year of homeschooling, which means that we are approaching um, rapidly at the end of our elementary school years, which is only mildly concerning. I've been getting a lot of questions about kind of kind of stressful questions questions about like how am i checking the boxes how am i making sure things are mastered what are we doing while you know we're doing our read alouds and things like that and i just want to pop on and i want to remind you that it is entirely not only possible but more enjoyable to be advancing your children's skills through play <laughs> Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Um, while you are down in the comments, you can find links to the sponsor of this video. A full disclosure, this is a sponsored video, but, but it's free. I have an amazing resource that I am so excited to share with you today. It is a game called Problem Escape by the people over at Rounded Learning. I will be sharing more with you about that in just a minute, but for right now, let's talk about homeschool, getting out of this kind of like thought that keeps coming up, keeps popping up. So as we're entering another season, another homeschool year, another back to school season, I am getting questions from people who have either, you know, maybe not done this quite as long as I have, or maybe are starting new because we do have a lot of new friends coming. Hey, y'all. But some of the things that I am seeing over and over and over again, um, while it is many different questions, it does boil down to the same thing, which is how are we making sure they're doing what they're supposed to do? And it can be really hard to understand this, especially like I was raised in public school and it's really hard to understand this coming from like a brick and mortar institutional education background. It can be really hard to understand. So one of the questions is, you know, how do you know that they're getting it if you're not doing tests? Guys, it's hard to understand this, but when you're in a classroom setting, right? When you're in institutional education, if you've got 20 or 30 kids in a room, how do you make sure that they're all on the same page? Well, unless you're sitting there having a conversation with each one of them, unless you are sitting there handholding with each one of them, you're gonna need to do some sort of measurement, a measurement being a test. Don't get me wrong, I've said this many times, test taking is absolutely a skill. It is a learned skill and it's important to invest the energy making sure that your children do know how to take tests. I completely agree with that. However, using test taking as a measurement to see where you're at in homeschool doesn't quite equate. And the reason for that is I am homeschooling two kids. Some of you may be more, some of you may be one, but when you are with them, when you are seeing what they're doing day in and day out, for example, you guys know the math problem that we use, their math program that we use, there's a lesson, there's seven worksheets every week, and then there's also a unit, a weekend exam, and then also unit exams, which cover several chapters. Do we do all of that? Hex, no, why? Because I can tell when they have learned the lesson, how they're doing, if they have a grasp on it. I can tell when they've done a few problems, if they understand it. I don't need to test them to measure whether or not they would pass or fail an exam. What we do is we see if they've mastered the concept. If they've mastered the concept, then we move on. If not, then we just work a little harder on that concept. It just doesn't equate the same. Another question that I had recently is, you know, when you're doing your history, how are you doing that? Are you just reading out loud to them and they're listening the whole time or no, no. Why? Because that would be torture for everyone. It doesn't have to be hard to be efficient learning. I'm gonna say it again. It does not have to be hard to be efficient learning. They do not have to only be hunkered down and focused doing what we've been trained to think is the best way to learn. They do not have to be fully engaged, quiet, patient, sitting still little students in order to learn. We've been conditioned to think that because in all honesty, that's what you need when you have 30 kids packed into a room with one adult. That is not what you need when you're at home. That is not what you need when you are teaching your own homeschool. It's also really not the way that kids learn best. 
You don't have to believe me on this, guys. There's a lot of research out there that talks about being able to move. There's a lot of research out there that talks about having music on in the background helps people learn, helps people study. You do not have to believe me. You can look at the way children inherently learn. There's a lot of good reasons why play-based learning is effective, why play-based learning is efficient, okay? That is why educational games are fantastic. You guys know, if you've been here for any period of time, I've talked about this before. One of my big reasons for wanting to homeschool is because I recognize that my daughter learned best in non-traditional educational ways, which are learning apps, things like that. Now, let's get to the sponsored part of this video. Guess what? I was recently contacted by a company, Rounded Learning, who, guys, they have a learning app for algebra. What? Algebra. I come here and I talk so frequently about elementary resources. I have named tons of things that apply to the younger levels. And there is a large, large community of people who's left wanting for the fun stuff for the middle and older ages. And guess what? Rounded Learning has the answer in Problemscape. Let me just give you a little bit of the backstory. So this is an algebra-based program. And you may be thinking, Shauna, but your daughter, your oldest one is in fifth grade. What are we talking about? Are we in algebra? No. Is Problemscape marketed to, you know, sixth to eighth graders, advanced sixth graders? Yes. Do we have any business doing this? No. Are we playing it anyway? Yes. Why? Because it is fun. Let me tell you the things that my child did not know that she does now know, thanks to the wonderful people over at Rounded Learning with Problemscape. She can do exponents. She is solving for the unknown. She is doing really, really tricky equations. And it's kind of impressive for an entering fifth grader to be doing this kind of honestly advanced math. And it's all because we gave it to her literally all it was. It was a fun opportunity for her to play a game, a learning app on the tablet, and we put it in front of her. And now she has learned. Let me give you another good reason why you should be heading right on over to your Play Store, either on Apple or on Google or Android or whatever your Play Store is. Look for Problemscape. Here's another great reason that you should be heading over there. Woman-owned company. Yes. Yes, they have a parent platform where you can see what your kids are learning. Yes, there are eight different levels, which by the way, my non-algebra having child aced through two or three of them in the first day because she could not put it down. She loves the premise. She has no idea why the people are green, but that's just a, you know, that's a game design thing. That's not on me. That's not what I want to know. So she is playing the game. She is loving the game. She is learning every step of the way. This is a game that is backed by educational science, guys, backed by educational science, backed by somebody who's invested their energy, PhD, PH, that's right, a doctor. A doctor has helped design this game. This game is award-winning. This game focuses on introductory algebra, which was perfect for my daughter who needed an introduction to, well, I mean, she doesn't need an introduction to algebra yet, but as far as knowing what to do, she definitely needed the introduction to algebra. So while this game is targeted six to eighth graders, my daughter, who's an entering fifth grader, is able to play it, which brings me back to, and I will always say this, do not dumb down for your students, push them up. They will frequently, frequently surprise you. Okay, so PhD, you know, contributor to the game, uh, award-winning game. And guys, they are constantly doing studies on the efficiency of their game, of their product, and they saw a 150% increase in academic performance by the end of playing the first chapter. Now, if you need any other reason to search this out, you don't have to believe me. You don't have to trust what I'm saying about it. Yeah, maybe my kid is wicked advanced in math and just enjoyed playing this game. Maybe she's really goal oriented and wanted to complete the tasks. Here are a couple more reasons why you should try it. And I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. There are a lot of products out there. There are a lot of apps and games and learning things where it's very easy to kind of the hard stuff. Your kids are tricky, just like my kids are tricky. And they are really good at going meow, right around the hard stuff and still doing the stuff that they want to do. This game didn't let her do that. I freaking love that, okay? It did not let her meow, right around the hard stuff. She had to go through it to get to it, guys. She did. It was awesome. Now, if you needed one more reason to go check out Problemscape from the wonderful people, again, a female owned company over at Rounded Learning, here you go. And it's the best part. It's free.
That's right, folks. It's free. You can go download the app, which includes the first eight chapters of this introductory algebra game for free. Free! You can access the parent portal for free. It is only free for a limited time. So run over right now. It's worth it. It's worth it. You can't tell me it's not worth it. It's free. Download the game, play it. Let them know if you like it or not. Um, be sure and let them know your genuine and true feedback because that's what I did, guys. They're wonderful. They've been really awesome to work with. I've been in constant communication with them and they are pretty awesome. My kid is obsessed with this game. She loves it. She loves playing it. Now, when you go check them out, again, totally free. They will be adding more paid fe paid features at a later date. They will be adding more chapters and more mini games, more things that you can do later. So it is going to expand. But for right now, it's free. Guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I cannot telling you how awesome it is that the people over at Rounded Learning reach out to me. I am greatly appreciative that they decided to sponsor this video and I love, and I told them, I absolutely love that they currently have a resource for homeschoolers that's free. So many things um, aren't free. So many things aren't geared toward our market. And I think it's really awesome that they've provided a product that has made my daughter get excited about a math that she's not even gonna get into for a couple more years. So I love it as a mom, I love it as a homeschooler, and as somebody who uh, gets really excited about the kind of other stuff, it's a female-owned company. I love that. I love that it's a female-owned company. I love that they made a game because math should be fun. These things should be fun. Your kids can learn and really learn a lot through play. And that doesn't end when they get older just because there's not as much stuff marketed to them, okay? So keep in mind, board games, um, apps, all kinds of different ways that you can do this, okay? That you can make learning fun. You can advance your children's skills through play. It really is very easy if you just put in the effort. Not everything needs to be worksheets, okay? Not everything needs to be official curriculum. Sometimes fun is good enough and fun is gonna move their learning forward. So don't forget that it is totally possible to advance those skills through play. And not only is it possible, do it, okay? Things should be fun. Not everything, not all the time, but I mean, a lot of things a lot of the time. Make it fun. It's uh, better for everybody, right? It's easier to teach kids if they think it's fun and then they're not reluctant to come to the table, right? Yes, okay. Bye. You don't have to believe what I'm saying, guys. They have posted and shared their research right online, roundedlearning.com slash research. You can check out the studies for yourself. Dust, dust,